guys, welcome back. Round three, mm -hmm. standard action, Wednesday night. I'm Patrick R. Savage, and I'm joined by Matthew Manier. Yep. Okay. How's it going, guys? Uh, this round, we have two new players, new faces. Uh, they're not like a new player, like to the game, but we have a team tonight. So we brought them on. Yep. Uh, we have Alex Eberhardt on, I believe it's some blue-white control deck. I am not sure if it is Approach or if he has some other win condition. I know Alex has played Approach in the past, so it's very possible that that's what he's doing right now. Um, and then we have Matt Lewis on... I don't know. I'm not sure either, yeah. I think this is the first time Matt has come to games. I just watched... Oh, well, welcome to him then. I just watched uh, a bunch of these people play in the last round while I was trying to find another feature match. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of green decks. A lot of like green, eh? green white tokens. Uh, yeah, so Dakota Howell plays green white tokens. And then. Tony wasn't playing cats this week, but normally he's, he's doing green white cats. But besides that. Yeah, so. I'm interested to see what Matt is on. I My guess is some kind of green deck. I saw some monsters players. Yeah, I saw like. I saw a red black deck with Azor's Gateway. Okay. I was really confused about what was going on there, but. Was he playing Mastermind Expedition? I don't know. Well, it was red black. He could still do it. He could. But, like, the common one that you like that you would see with Masterminds and Azor's Gateway is green black. That's the one I Correct. play. Dex, if you guys are looking for a deck that you want to play, it's go to MTG one. Goldfish <laughs> and look up uh, green black uh, Masterminds acquisition. Because that's what you want to play. That Guaranteed. deck is so much fun. It's a little hard. Um, you, the hardest part about it is learning how to set up your Hour of Promises and, like, what lands yeah. to get and then what to do with that, but... Okay, so he's you could playing play... a green deck, I get. I don't know. A black, he's playing a uh, red-black deck. Yeah, red-black. Oh, was he just on red-black? Red it looks aggro? like a red yeah. Oh, no. Oh, with some black. But he, but he had the swamp. But yeah, so... Okay. Just playing green-black, I was playing in the, that in the Classic over the weekend. My last round was against Abzan Tokens. <laughs> I... I was watching this. I Resolve was, Zakama it was, it was match. Primal Calamity. And then proceed to blow up his, uh... Oh, this is the one with Azor's Gateway. He's got in his hand. He's playing it right now. Okay, sweet. Well, let's get that pulled up for the camera right now. But continue the story. This is a great story. Yeah, so I play... Resolve Sakama, Primal Calamity. Untap my lands. Sure. Then proceed to blow up both of his hidden stockpiles. His, uh, Anointed Procession. And his Ixalan's Binding that was on my Sandworm Convergence. I think it was two perce uh, Processions? Or was it just one? I thought it, it was, was five Enchantments. No, it was four. I know it was four enchantments. Okay. I, exactly 12 mana. Never mind. All right. But yeah, so you just get to do random stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. You get Torment of Hailfire, too? Yeah, I like... killed some of the Torment of Hailfire for 32. Is that not what you want to do in Standard? That's what I want to be doing in exactly. Standard. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, we'll see if sweet. the deck survives rotation. I hope I... it does, because it was a lot of fun I to agree. play. Yeah, the deck is sweet. Um, we'll see. And it's also very good against Grixis Energy, so if that's something you're looking to beat. Uh, yep. So here we have a turn 4 Glimmer for Alex. No, and no, a turn no, 4... Uh, uh, let's be to wait, what did he use to get rid of the... Uh, did he counter the gateway? I think so. Spell pierced the gateway. Yep. We have main deck spell pierced in this deck. Spell pierced. OP. That is interesting. I don't know if... if uh, Spell Pierce would be a card I'd be playing in my blue, blue, blue uh, white control deck, but to each his own. It's not bad. I'm a I'm a big Spell Pierce fan. I am, but not in control decks. All right, that's fair. Control decks do have a quite the number of spells that they could choose over that one. Yeah, and also just like you want all your counter spells to be relevant at points in the game, and you can't do that with. Uh, Spell Pierce. Like, Spell Pierce isn't always relevant. A lot of times, in the late part of the game, they'll just be like, oh yeah, pay two, because I have drawn a billion lands because you're control and you haven't killed me yet. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens with this, with Alex here. What he's using to win the game. Does he have the ability to deal with these rekindling phoenixes? I always hate the word phoenixes. Just weird. I feel like it should be like Phoenix Eye or something. Yeah, like Phoenix. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it does. It does sound a little awkward, doesn't it? 
Let's see here, do we have like? Oh, we're disallowing one of these. Okay. All right, I like it. And there is approach in Alex one deck, down, so he is blue white approach. Okay. Let's Aether meltdown. Oh. That that card I haven't done, seen though. in a while. Agreed. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Uh, it, it's been a while. Yeah. So that's one way to get rid of it. Matt does need a way to kill it. Neg four, neg o. Super good. Oh, neg. Uh, yeah, it is neg four, neg. Yeah, it's neg four, neg zero. So I, on the screen, it looked like neg one. I was like, oh gosh. Yeah, no, that card would be very bad. <laughs> I was, was like, just wait a second, one. this is what I thought it was. But no, yeah, it is neg four, neg zero. But yeah, so we are going to see here the. Uh, so Alex doesn't have. Anything to do with the main phase. He's one turn away from approach, but... Ooh, is that basic land a plane? Oh, yeah, there is a plane. Okay. It is. Match or a fatal push. That's not going to be That's going to be pretty useful. bad. Yeah. With the third, fire chicken. <laughs> fire chicken. As we're being told to call them. Oh. Because then we could do it plural and have that sound. Yeah, fire nice. chickens. Uh, oh, that's a third phoenix, too. <laughs> what? We have three phoenix in a row. Yeah. That's what I was saying. No, oh, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> That's how my life normally goes. No one listens to me. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to Glimmer here for Alex. Uh, he has six energy. I'm not sure what this is going to be used on. but Probably nothing. I Yeah, I'm just trying to think if, there any, if there's anything that he does use I can't on, think of any, like, good... Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Who knows? We'll find out. So, does he have, he has the land, so we can cast Approach this turn if we want to. That's pretty good. And I kind of like doing that. I want uh, to approach? find a way to kill my opponent. Uh, um, yeah, that does seem like a so good thing to do. We're explaining Approach. Does it have to be the same one? Uh, no, it's gonna be, so I gotta cast it So, does it have to be the same copy of Approach? Uh, no, it does not. It does not. There would be absolutely no good way to track that if yeah. there uh, was. Uh, that would be Just sharp really... up the card and then put it seven cards deep, I don't know. But yeah, that would be abysmal. Yeah. Alright. So, you're currently resolving Approach. And Matt needs to draw, find a good. way to kill Alex. You'd be a really good draw for Matt here. A fourth Phoenix. I was gonna say Field of Ruin, because oh. Field of Ruin is a non-optional shuffle, which is sweet, by the way. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they did that because of approach. I really hope they did. And if they didn't, well, they lucked oh, out. That's the wrong colorless land. That's not a Field of Ruin. That's an Evolving Wilds. Yeah. He is playing red black. I'm not sure how popular. Yeah. He's got a Tetsamok in his hand. <laughs> yeah. That's... Matt's hand is pretty much the worst against blue white. Yeah. It's really that, good against. This hand is really good against. Agri Any decks, other deck. Mid range decks. Any other deck. Not this creatureless control deck. Yeah. He's just got unlucky. In this matchup. I mean, yes. Uh, at least for game one. He'll probably get a lot better post sideboard. He gets to bring in things like Duress. I'd imagine, Maybe yeah. some Lost Legacies. Yes, please. Uh, now, does Alex have another yeah. copy of Approach in his hand? I don't think so. I didn't see one, but there's always the possibility. He, he does hold his hand pretty concert. Uh, I'm going to uh, then... I don't know. Compact, I guess. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. He, he has a cast out as the white spell in his hand. Sure. Oh, I like what Matt's doing here. This is a nice play by Matt. He's fatal pushing his own Phoenix. That's actually really good. Good job. And now he gets the token, and it'll come back on this next upkeep. Yeah, that was super heads up. So good play by him. Well done. Uh, let's see what is going to happen now. All right, so he doesn't get to get in for four. That's good. Uh, I think Alex is going to cast out this other Phoenix instead of the token, but all right, there's the token. Um, yeah. Do you, do you think he should prioritize getting rid of the token or the, the other Phoenix? I mean, so... My, my opinion is just the... It doesn't really matter. Oh, there's an energy sink. We found it. Nice. 
Um, yeah, I don't think it actually matters. It doesn't really matter because either way, you get uh, if he gets a phoenix back. Now it does matter if he has something like a baffling end or just like another cheap removal spell or maybe like a bounce spell. Right. I don't know what else playing. I can't think of a bounce spell he would probably play. Um, Winds of Rebuke. To mill closer to his approach. Not the worst idea I've ever heard. Oh, I, sh I have not been keeping a track of where that approach is in Alex's deck. I, I think it's five cards down right now. Okay. So if it's five cards down, is he drawn? So this is the first turn he's untapped since he's had. Maybe it's six cards down. I think it's... Did it, yeah, because he cast a Glimmer before. He cast a Glimmer before. Is Did he cast it last turn or two turns ago? Uh, it should have been last turn, yeah. All right, he okay, should be, it should, it should, be, should be five because he drew a card for turn. And it goes six cards down. Yeah. It starts six cards. Okay, down. yeah, so I was right. It is five. Okay. So we have Glorybringer. We attack for 12 Alex cast outs. Probably a Phoenix. Um, yeah, I would go for a Phoenix. I would go for a Phoenix because... Glorybringer doesn't actually yeah. have any targets to exert, so... Unless if it exerts its own Phoenix. I mean, that seems bad. Or is it defending player controls? It might be that. Am I, it's... It it's opponent be, controls, I believe. Oh, never mind. We're just gonna censor it. But okay, that works pay, too. He's gonna pay the one though. So okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Seems like a bit of a misstep has happened here. Yeah. I guess we wanted him to tap the uh, one mana. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, I would actually cast out a phoenix here because of the dies trigger. If you. Uh... Oh yeah, that. Thank you, uh, your, your Uga. I apologize if I completely butchered that name. Oh, your that Uga. Aether Meltdown should be in the graveyard. It was an aura. The yep. thing enchanted died. Huh? I know your Uga. He was in chat all day yesterday, I think. Oh, okay. He's a regular. Good for him. So, but yeah, I would have cast out the... Glorybring or the Phoenix or the Glorybringer. That way, if you draw something like Fumigate, uh, it gets rid of one threat instead of zero threats. Because um, if you cast Fumigate on this board, he gets the two Phoenixes back on his turn. Yeah. Uh, if you get rid of one of the Phoenixes, then it still deals with one of the Glorybringers. And the Glorybringer and the Phoenix both do four damage. Yeah. So there's no. There's no actual difference for Alex. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's still gonna be the same clock, same same everything. It's just that the phoenixes are more resilient. So, ooh, we have to, we have a scavenging ground, so we can go fumigate scavenging grounds, right? That would be pretty good. That'd be. Do we have enough mana to do that? We have probably. exactly enough mana to do that. We need. No, we don't. No, yeah, we do. We have. You need eight mana for it, right? And he has eight. <laughs> yeah. I can't count. <laughs> we know. Just, be, just learn how to count. <laughs> the hard things. All right. We are four cards down, right? I believe so. Oh, uh, we opted though, so we we're actually. And he bottomed. Yeah. So I think it's two turns. Yeah, two cards. But it with this search for Skanta. We well, the search for Skanta is gonna get is gonna get one. So I believe. We need to find a way to deal with this on the next turn. Otherwise, we will be sad. Or we need to somehow kill our kill Alex. Do we have four damage? Um, don't think so. He could draw another Glorbring. Well, I believe he's already drawn for the turn. I think his hands oh, Magma Spray Tetsamok. Alright. Yay, Tetsamok. So we now have Tetsamok at play. I think Matt has also done the math and is like... Yeah, he just said your next card's probably approach. I think it's maybe one down, but with the search it doesn't matter. So, Alex does need to win this turn. Whoa! He misses trigger! That's he just drew good. it! That's not good! Now we can't win! No. <laughs> now he dies. Wait, oh, this Desert of the Mindful. Wait, but, okay, so it's one card down? Or it's Desert of the True? Did you leave the Ops cry on top? 
math wrong? I think he mathed wrong. And he missed the search trigger. I believe the next card's approach. Wait, did he leave the ops card on top? Maybe, maybe. I mean, if it was a good card, there's some, no reason Wait, did he put it seven down? Or... Because we, we were doing math, right? And it's, it's, he should have drawn it there. Did he do seven was down? It, what, yeah. I don't think so. Well, we can't tell if he did seven down or six down. What? Did, did, like, we can't tell if he put yeah. it. Yeah. Did he put it seven? Because we, we, were, we were doing math, right? Chat? You guys I did believe, math with us? Okay. He should have drawn it off that cycle. Right? I yeah, mean, so. I, I'm not sure. We'll ask. Watch the VODs. Can someone in chat, like, do, yeah. do, we, have a, do we have a VOD up right now? Can someone go on a mission for but No, I, I, I remember he him did? counting okay. out six cards. I agree, but, like, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I, he's terrible at math. Did he. Did, did, can someone confirm if the ops guy went to the bottom? I'm pretty sure I saw it go to the bottom. I guess I could be wrong. I just assumed it went to the bottom. I remember seeing it pick up his deck. I don't know. Yeah. So, well, that was game one. Very, like, interesting game one. So, yeah, the op scribe was bottomed, so... Okay, interesting. I don't know what happened. I guess we just counted wrong? I guess, maybe. These op gets through two cards. We had three draws, right? So yeah. Five also, plus a cycle of six cards. But we missed the yeah. search. Uh, yeah, I think. I think it might have actually been just been one short. Yeah, I think it was just one short. If he had uh, remembered his search trigger, then also he would have gotten there. Yep. So yeah, we, we were just short a little math there. Also, he had enough lands that um, one of the things you can do with this blue-white approach deck. Uh, especially because he's pl playing Ipity Rivulet, is you can actually use Ipity Ri Rivulet to, to mill, mill yourself. yourself. Yep. I, th that's pretty sweet. It just speeds you up so fast. Yeah, that's what the reason... Actually, the reason you play that, that and the mirror. Yeah, especially in the mirror. Decks. It's super good. Um, yep, so there's just a, a slight misplay there, but... Also with the, the sensor cycle. Yeah, just the sensor, uh... Yep, just Casting it. So just... Slight, slight miscalculations, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, game one. Uh, okay. While players stop on here, I just want to remind you guys that we are brought to you by GameSwap in Mason, Ohio. Uh, if you're wondering where that is, it's just about 20, 25 minutes north of Cincinnati. So the southwestern part of Ohio. Uh, if you guys are ever in the area, uh, it's a great place for any Magic Needs, uh, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon. Uh, not Pokemon. Not Pokemon. There, there, there's like other game swaps. This one's like mostly magic and board games, right? As well as there's a lot of D&D groups who come in here to play. Um, yeah. Final Fantasy TCG is actually here too now. Uh, yeah, this store's pretty great for everything in this genre of hobbies. If you're a nerd, you'll love this store. Yeah, this That's what I gotta pretty say. pretty great. And this store is like huge too. There's tons of space. Uh, yeah, it's actually great. Just in, like the, so, there's like a front half and the back half, and I think in the front half there's like a hundred seats of tables, right? Uh, something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's at least a hundred a uh, hundred seats. I just had to purchase oh, a hundred tables, right? So that's like two hundred seats. Foil on each side, but yeah, so the place is super sweet. Lots of stuff. It's great. Yeah, it's a pretty great place. And then also, uh, if you guys like what you're seeing here, if you are enjoying the stream if you check it out on tuesdays thursdays for fridays for modern and wednesdays wednesdays is not modern oh okay yeah i didn't hear you say modern i said Tuesday, wednesdays thursday friday i was like what you, you skipped yeah. the day we're on today yeah so then i said for modern <laughs> i know um yeah. or I, I just like gone. watching this hot standard action here mm -hmm. uh feel free to either subscribe donate on twitch or, or we have a patreon, patreon. Uh, Which that's you can donate or subscribe to on yeah, patreon.com slash top deck productions. Yeah, we'll see if um, we can post a link uh, our stream yeah. owner. He'll, he'll probably post a link in for chat for you guys. If so you, you didn't know that. where the Twitch page was, 
It's www.twitch.tv slash Top Deck Productions. Oh, almost lost that one. Patreon link, Justin. Patreon link. Yeah, so the Patreon link. It's www.patreon.com slash Top Deck Productions. Yeah. And then if you guys want to go back to watch this match, see where things went wrong, or other if you want to go back to any other matches, things, see what things were for the people like Jake Valentine, or just watch any of the hot bottom action in the past week. We can have for basically any of the thing we've ever, ever done in the past ever. We have the YouTube page, youtube.com slash top deck production stream. Yep, we upload pretty much daily except for, except for the weekends, but Yeah, we don't normally have daily on the weekends. Normally it's like the day after, so yeah. these will probably be up my guess are probably around like noon tomorrow, maybe around yeah, like one. No, or two. Normally they're uploaded uh, around noon. If yeah. not, uh, before three is a like, guarantee like, for the most part. Like the I guess I can yeah. say guarantee if it's for the most part, like, but you know. Yeah, that is true. Uh, if, if you look at three o'clock, it should be there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then also we have, if you want to keep up to date on what we got going on, just in general, we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yep, yep so Facebook, we got all the notifications. Grindr. You can follow everything. <laughs> Grindr, Tinder, all those. Snapchat. We actually should have a Snapchat account. Uh, we, do, we, do, we don't have Snapchat. We, we have should. Instagram, though, so if you want to follow that. But yeah, uh, that's Facebook.com slash Top Deck Productions. Then we have Instagram.com slash Top Deck Pro and Twitter.com slash Top Deck Prods. Yep. Dope, I remembered. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, that's like the hardest thing, all the slight variants to the names, but there you guys go. Now you guys know. You can check them out. That'd be super sweet. Let's get back to this game. So we got turn one. The rest. Yeah, this is where Matt's deck is gonna get a lot better post board. He gets to board yep. out all those really bad removal spells. So it'll push Tetsamok. We don't need those. We have the rest now, right? Yeah. Ooh, turn on Optimal. Looks still pretty good. He doesn't have an island though, which is a little concerning. He has a Glacial Fortress. That's gonna come in tapped. Yeah. So that's not the worst. That's gonna be awkward. He's not under a ton of pressure right now, so that's probably okay. Yeah. But. Especially since Matt's uh, red black deck is a little slower than um, like a uh, red, like, on a red. Yeah, the it's very a lot slower than the list we saw from Tony earlier yep. today. It's going big, and it's playing more control. Walking ballista, not a card I want to see in this matchup. If I am uh, Matt, by Matt, yeah. And we'll see what we got going on here. It's not great. Alex, he picked up disallow. But he's not going to be able to have... Yeah, he can't cast it. Can't cast it this turn yet. Yep. If he if he had an island or a plane, Alex's hand would be sweet. He'd been doing so much right now. All right. So we're swinging in with this 1-1. One, one. Put in the 18 rate. That's the pain desert. Or is that an Evolving Wilds? That is a Evolving Wilds. Okay, never mind. And so, I don't like that evolving wilds art. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I am a big fan of the uh, promo one from Dragons of Tarkir. Yep, that's the one. That so one the reason then. he kept walking ballista in the deck is probably just because he Didn't have doesn't have an, enough to board out. Um, yep. He had to board out things like Fatal Push, Fatal Push, Tatsumak, probably some other bad removal spells that he really doesn't want here. And walking ballista. It does have the added bonus of being like, hey, I have a bunch of mana. Well, maybe this kills you. Yeah, yeah. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh -huh. So, we'll see what Matt ha has to threaten his opponent here. Does he have some kind of four drop? And now Alex is a disallow up. Yep, Alex isn't looking bad at all right now. Uh, does he, I think he has one more land in his hand. Yes, you're right. It does become a bad fireball. Yeah. But it does get to beat in for one a turn, which isn't bad at all. All right, here we go, Doomfall. Doomfall, that's always a card I like. It's a card in uh, Green Black Acquisition. How many Doomfalls you play? I'm going to go with three. Four. <sighs> so good. Yep. It is phenomenal. Also, a very nice answer to something like Hazaret. Do we know what's in Matt's hand? Uh, I can't get a good look at Matt hand, Matt's right. hand. I so believe. Land Alex had. Yeah, I believe he has a Rekindling Phoenix in it. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, well yes. Yeah, Soul Tech, in any deck with Winding Constrictor, Walking Ballista is very good. But we're not playing that in this deck. I would hope not. He, uh, Matt is just playing like a pretty, I'd say, removal heavy deck that just plays like really good creatures. Yeah, this is a definitely a green black or red black mid range deck. Yep. We're not aggro, we're not. We're trying to value control. out with creatures like Hazorite, yeah. Winding Phoenix, Walking Ballista, Tetsamok. Honestly, if Matt got to resolve that Azor's Gateway, that would have been really good for him in game one. He got to get rid of all of his bad cards and find its good ones. Probably would have um, got him the win if it wasn't for the slight miscalculation. But. Well, I believe it did. He did get the win. Well, I know, like, it would have sealed his win. Yeah. And it was just such a bad environment at the time because it was just. Alright. Um. I think we're still on Alex's turn here. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I eventually was just like, I can't. Play or maybe we're not. The next day came out, I don't know. It, like it literally improved nothing and everybody just did. So, I, b I believe we're still on Alex's turn. <laughs> yeah. Matt has an untapped bit. Looks like Matt is trying to think of something ahead of him. Okay, no, we're passing. Alright, cool. Alright, Matt draws the land. We'll probably play that. And do you jam Phoenix here? I, I think you have to. Agreed. I want to just kind of... I'm a very much of the mind whenever I play with or against control decks. Just make him have it. Yep. Make You're not, have it. Your spot's not getting any better. If you just, like, don't do anything, the that's exactly what wait, they want. The longer you wait, the worse it gets. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we also has a Chandra in his hand, so if the yeah. Phoenix doesn't resolve, it might make a gap for the Chandra too. Um, a thing in Alex's hand is a Settle yeah. the Wreckage. Yeah, I, I think just that saw Phoenix that. is going to be good. Yeah, I would, if I was Alex, I would let this resolve. Which is pretty heads up play. So we can counter this Chandra coming up. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> It'll be a little awkward because we're going to have to Settle the Wreckage this next upcoming attack, right? But then, yeah. Um, so hopefully Matt goes for the Chandra second main phase in his case, right? Yes. If he definitely he suspects uh, the settle. You just just do it anyway in case Alex has something like cast out or... Yeah. Second main phase is the best phase to play things. Yes. Um, ooh, Aether Meltdown is a good one from Alex. Yeah, that's actually really good for yeah, Alex. That means he doesn't need a settle wreckage. And he can hold up a counter spell. Yeah. Which is good. Search. We're playing Search, though. Ooh. Faster. That's awkward. Well, he needs lands, so he kind of has to do yeah. it. Yeah. So, like, it wasn't a wrong play by Alex. It was actually a good play, but it's just unfortunate. So we'll see what Matt does here. Um, you, you would just attack first. Yeah, do you cast this Meltdown, or do you hope to counter something with our... I would not, because I have the Settle the Wreckage in the hand, I would personally Agreed. just take the damage. We're at 18. It's not that low yeah. of a life total. So if we took that damage, uh, that would just be... I mean, it's not bad. We would have gone to 13. Have, yeah, 13, and now we get to resolve Chandra, and Alex's deck has a, has a lot harder time dealing with Chandra than it does Phoenix. Agreed. He had the Supreme Will. That could have been the counter spell mm -hmm. there, but... You want to build top card? It's a good play by Matt going to land combat first. Yep. That really sealed the deal for... Because it just forces Alex to make a decision here if he's going to take the four damage. Yep. And, and I think, obviously, hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, and we could see that Alex got punished for his decision, but... Also, if Alex thinks it's just like a red-black, or like a more aggressive mono-red deck, which is fine, I guess. Uh, he might have been expecting that his... I just forgot the name of his counter spell. Um, Supremo? Yeah, his Supremo wouldn't have countered it efficiently, because it's... it's rare, even out of three, his, like, red-black X, yeah. like red-black aggro decks, you're still going to see things like Hazard. You're still going to see Chandra's Phoenix's Glory Bringers. And he did see the Textamok game. Yeah, I think Supremo is still just a good counter spell here. That's all four Glacial agree. Fortresses for Alex. Um, yep. So we're not drawing a Glacial Fortress. I can promise you that. But yeah, I'm Alex. Well on top with Search, right? I wouldn't have here. If I'm in Alex seats, I really want to be digging for a cast out or an Excellence Binding or just something. Some way to answer this Chandra, okay. because he only has like two turns before that thing kills him. That is true. Well, yeah, yeah, he has two turns. On Matt's third turn, though. Yeah, because like Alex, it's gonna be very hard for Alex to beat an emblem. I'm not even sure he can do it. 
Oh, I don't think he can. He needs to have, uh, like, approach into approach. Okay, um... And he needs Matt to just, like, draw right. a bunch of lands. We're scattering the ballista. And which, we're also holding up the counter spell for whatever he has... Uh, for nothing that he has next, but... Yeah. Maybe oh, we'll no! Our cut our cut to ribbons was exiled. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Ribbons. So good. We'll so, probably... Uh, we'll probably look at the top four at end of turn. Try and find a cast out. Yeah, I would... He only has one card in hand. You don't really need to counterspell anything. And we need to get rid of the Chandra. It's like a necessity. Um, like, yeah, if you get rid of Chandra, you don't need to worry about his hand too much. But yeah, Lucas Vance. Um, I'm not going to say this is an easy matchup for Blue White Approach. It's definitely a one of your better matchups. Uh, especially game one. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd say. Uh, game one, he probably should have won. We just had a little miscounting issue on Alex's side. Yep. And... Oh, we're going to Aether Meltdown. Okay. Oh, yeah, good. He did it in response, right. so Alex does not get energy. Okay. But even then, like, sometimes Blue Wood Approach just has some bad draws, just kind of fizzles out a little bit. Uh, like here, yeah. He's just not drawing untapped lands. And then, like, with any control deck, sometimes you just think uh, about it, make a decision, and sometimes you get a little punished. With Search, we saw a non-land card. I want to throw that. It was a blue spell. If it's, uh, yeah, I don't want any blue we spell right now. We don't need that. I want... Let's flip it. I don't want any spell that's not If a we flip out. it, we also flip search and we get a land. So that's yeah. Neat. And this means that we can go cast our Supreme Will into a cast out and cast cast out. Well, we have one more turn. I don't think we need to cast Supreme Will on our main phase yet. Um... Because Chandra's not going to emblem next turn. Nyx no, takes well, seven no, emblems. Why, why don't now? Cast out has... No, it doesn't. No. Cast out has flash. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So, binding doesn't. Correct. I've, I've seen a lot more binding than cast out recently, though. Yeah, I like Ixalan's binding if you're playing a deck that's not blue white control. Okay. Um, because you have that clause of not being able to cast like your hooks or scarab gods again. Um, but if you're a deck that wants to operate at instant speed like Alex's, I like cast out more. Because you yeah, have that all the that flexibility and the options. Yeah. So Alex is still fine. Right Did now. are you asking if Alex drew for his turn? I thought he did. Oh, maybe not. He has flipped the search and then it... Um, yeah, Alex, you still got to draw a card. Ask, a Justin, ask him if he drew. Can we confirm? Yeah. Let's pause the game real quick. Because that's not something... You can't miss your draw I step. Actually, I just can't that is a good step. catch. I gotta go to play out. Okay. Who was it? Who caught it? A Viper, mm, but no, Magic Master 22 out, wasn't uh, yeah, far behind. Oh, all right. It's probably one of those yeah, things where like fair, they're both typed fair. it and Viper hit send like all right, one. All right, all right. Sure. We'll give it to both of you. Good job. Yeah. Good. That's good looking out. I can't do anything with that. Yeah. So he drew. Drew. It didn't look like the card he drew mattered that much, which is good. If I'm Alex here, I actually wouldn't cast Supreme Will and try to find a cast. I would actually activate as Kanto first. Then you can cast Supreme Will if you don't find the cast out. I like it. Uh, it just digs you for more cards. And you just need to see as many cards as you can right now. And to be able to find to hit this cast out. Are we going to Braid or Phoenix? <clears throat> Braid's an instant, though. We can wait. Oh, wait. We're casting Essence Scatter here? Do we or wait. Oh, pass. we're Supreme what? Wait, he has. Hold on. I'm so confused right now. Yeah, he has five mana up. I'm going to braid I think he. I think he saw him tapping the mountains, and he's like, "Oh wait, you have." Oh no, he still had three. Never mind. Yeah. So I think Alex <laughs> looked like he was about to try to supreme all that, then realized it wouldn't work. Uh, in response. Looks so like in response to a braid, we're going to activate his Kanta. Okay. Maybe hit a negate or something. Found essence scatter, aether meltdown, plains glimmer. Take the Glimmer. Um, Because that way if we draw a land, Glimmer can get us... So I would actually take Aether Meltdown here. You would? Yeah, because... Oh, the Phoenix is going to come back. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, the Phoenix is going to come back. That is true. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to want to cast Supreme Will on our turn here to try and find Cast Out. And then we can go Cast Out. Yeah, because if, we, don't, if yeah. we do not answer this Chandra, this game gets a billion times harder. Oh, I think he just loses. He, it requires Matt to bl brick on literally everything. His yep, he has to brick every turn, and that's going to be hard for him, especially if he's getting additional draws with the score. Yeah. Um, but, let's see. So, does Matt have any cards in hand at all? Uh, we need to pay m mana for the gate. Or, no, we... No, he, he's 
Oh, okay, he has his yeah. lands, right? Never mind, yeah. Never mind. Here we go. So yeah, end of turn, I would cast Supreme Will here. He's got enough lands. Oh nope. No no no, 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 no. Okay. Rewind, rewind. Wait. Yes. Yes. Catch it. Drive step. Okay. Nice. Okay. Can All you hear right. us? I hope you can't hear us. Can you hear us? No. Pull from tomorrow. Islands. Aether Hub and another Supreme Will. Um, I think you either take Island or Supreme Will. What both of them do, I think you take Island because then you can activate as Kanta and uh, also cast Cast on your turn and it also lets you hit your land drop. Looks like you took Supreme Will. Yeah, we need to either find Disallow or Cast Out. Cast Out off the top. What? There we go. go. We can answer this, Chandra. And the land. Flawless. Like, perfect. Yeah, Disallow was actually also an answer to the Chandra. I wonder if Matt would have played into Disallow or not. Um, I would have. I Most people do. Um... Because, you, like... Yeah, it's just it, not something it, that's it, on Disallow your or you lose. Like... You have it? Yeah, and Alex does need to cast the cast up either now or on Matt's, like, in his upkeep or his draw step. I don't think there's any reason to do that. But if he gets to his main phase, this is going to be really bad for Alex. Okay. So do it. Upkeep or draw step. Because if he, the very first thing he does is ultimate that Chandra. You can't respond. You can't to respond it. to that. He gets the emblem. Yes. Alex, base, he's is Matt plussing? He's plussing! Okay. Alex what? might. Oh, he's responding to. Okay, yeah. So I don't think Alex under, uh, fully understands how the planeswalker ability works. Uh, it does go on the stack. It's like, it's kind of like you've already just cast that ability, basically. Yeah. So the ability is on the stack. He, he so, needs a way to counter the. So this is like. Yeah. Alex punted and then Matt punted back. Yep. Did we get? So. Wow. Okay. So how many punts is that in total? It's still two punts, right? That's what I would say. Yeah, so... Can someone give us a punt count going? Maybe. <laughs> if Matt had a... Uh... That was that was a really close one. Yeah, and then we get to sell the get to sell. Alright, so Alex is actually in an insane spot right now. Wait, do we have double white? Uh, I think so, yeah. What's that land... No, me. Under the... Uh, is yeah, Kanta. Do we tap run? I, I don't... Because it's not a Glacial Fortress. It's not. The f yeah, it's a... Yeah, you don't have double white, Alex. Uh, we don't have double white. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No. Oh wait, but he's searching. Hold on, hold on. Can, can we get in? Yeah, Justin. Can we? The way Alex tap means he doesn't have double white to play. Okay. Okay. So, so what it's gonna be? He only got the one mountain, so we can uh, go ahead and call Judge. Let's call Judge, please. Just because, guy. All right, chat. Yeah. If you're not familiar, whenever you encounter a problem, no matter what it is, how big, how small, call, call Judge. Judge. You call don't judge. always call the judge. call judge and then have that punish you. So, especially since they're on camera here, it's just really nice because we're just like, we can tell the judge exactly what happened. We're just like, he searched so for the mountain. Cast, uh, a card. Mountain is now in his deck again. We just need to shuffle it. No cards were known in the deck. I thought he had we're good. Right yeah. So, um, there is a bit of a uh, conversation going on right now. Whether or not Matt should have played around Disallow. So that's obviously what the plus on the Chandra was doing. Yes. And... My opinion is no. What's yours? So, okay. Okay. it's how you. It's yeah. about like how you approach what your opponent is doing. If what Matt was reading into when he played around the disallow is, if Alex had a cast out, he would have played it on his turn. Like, there's no reason to not let Matt yeah. go to your main phase if you're not playing. So I believe what Matt was like actually that correct does make a lot with of playing. Yeah. Uh, playing around disallow right there because of how Alex played yeah, it. Because we should have seen the cast out earlier, so that does make a lot of sense yeah. there. And unfortunately, um, Alex Alex's misplay signaled disallow, Yeah. and Matt played around that, and then Alex got rewarded. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, that happened, but um, in general, I feel like I would always just try and go for it. Especially in this case, because Alex has been very, like, frantically searching for cards. Yeah. So it, it's just a huge heads up to me, like, okay, I, I might actually have a shot here to, like, make something big happen, since he's been desperately just trying to find cards, obviously. Mm -hmm. So that's the... So that's just my take on it. Yeah, so but, what is Alex's... Is he at 16? Um, 
Wasn't he at like 11? Yeah, so and we then... should take the combat damage from this. I, I think, think he's at like 5. Yeah, I think we... <laughs> or is, this might be counting the 7 from the thing already. Here's the approach. Which he, gains him yeah. 7. Well, that only put him to 12. Oh, he was at 1? No, I think he's like in the middle of updating it. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I thought he was at 11 and then took 6, go to 5. All right, he will be at 8. He will be at so 8. So he was at 1. Because he took 2 from the Chandra Plus because Glorbringer's exiled, right? And then he took 4, 5, 6. I don't know. So he took I 2 from the Chandra Plus. I thought he was 11. Maybe that 11 was wrong. Maybe. Uh, was that 11 counting the Walking Ballista she had? No, because that only the 1 damage. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But what now Alex there. is at 2. But he is at 8. Now he's at 2. All right. What can he do to win the game right now? He uh, top well, deck he could top approach, deck approach. Which he did not. He found an Aether. Well, now he has the settle that he can cast. Yes, we're going to have to cast it now. Um, so... Matt is... I see a Swamp in Matt's hand. What was the other card, though? You know? I don't know, but what would be very important it, wait, is... It looks like a Phoenix. I, I think it's a Phoenix. I would play that Phoenix because approach only kills attacking creatures. You mean settle? Settle. That's what I meant. You're right. Yes. Uh, he drew a Gleam oh, Sleeve Siphoner. Oh, it might be Never mind. I'm going to... Siphoner's pretty good. Okay. It's probably in a braid then. I don't think there's any reason to play the Siphoner now. Yep. You do know that Alex has Settle in his hand? Well, yeah. That's why we're playing it. Yeah, you're right. I think he has been missing some Glint Sleeve triggers. Uh, he has the energy. He's not drawing. So here's the Settle and, wreckage. Uh, also... Uh, for, uh, I know this is a little old now, but uh, they're supposed to record it on their like their life pads now, so that die might not be completely right. That's true. No, he's been getting it. Yeah, so if there, so we've been told there's like an abrade or maybe like a harness lightning in Matt's hand. If that's the case, I would have liked to see him abrade or harness lightning his uh, phoenix. Agreed. I thought it was a phoenix in his hand when I got a look at it. It might be an abrade though. There's both red cards that have a big red thing in the middle. We're 100 percent on they are the uh, that there are uh, there's a swamp in his hand. Okay. Uh, yeah, Matt's sleeves are in fact the new dragon shields. He's his is the it's not the Matt dragon shield. Uh, only the green one's Matt, but uh, like, I didn't know the dragon shield had new new sleeves coming out. You didn't know? I did not know. How have you not seen these? These are like everywhere now. I don't know. They, they have the art on them. Those are dragon. I think sleeves. I saw some over the weekend. Yeah, like guaranteed. Okay. Oh, there is an Ixalan's <laughs> binding in Alex's. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, like these sleeves got like insanely popular over the next, over like the three days they came out. It's crazy. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I'm still a big fan of Dragon Shield mats. They're like the only sleeves that I use. Yeah, I use those in BCWs. I like I sleeves don't like BCWs. that don't have art on the back. Agreed. I don't trust sleeves with art on the back. I use, I occasionally use sleeves with art on the back for drafting. But that's it. That's yeah, because like, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, in a casual draft, I love to use. Back when I was in, that. when I lived in Columbus and I went to Comic Town, uh, their draft nights were Wednesdays, and it was always uh, Star City Games night. Okay. And if you got second, then you got. Uh, oh, there's second approach. All right, so Alex got this one. Yeah, wait. Weird game, three. game two. After some, a weird game one. After a weird game one. Some misplays, <laughs> some weird signaling. It's been very interesting. Yeah. I think it's also been kind of funny, but um, I think we're both yeah. having a good time laughing about it. It's like, well, like, well yeah. I think we all just kind of like messed up a little bit, but that's funny. Okay, so Faker 3G has asked, what are the best sleeves in the market right now? He wants the creme de la creme of sleeves. Of sleeves. I personally believe it's Dragon Shield. When in doubt, go Dragon Shield. They're like slightly more expensive than other ones, um, but they last so much longer. Dragon Shield mats are sleeves that I've been using for years. Yeah, Dragon Shield, super good. Um, I use BCW right now just because yeah. they're a lot cheaper and I think they're still fine and they're nice. But yeah, um, if mats you... is like 100% guaranteed. Quality. Dragon Shield mats are great. The other ones uh, that you could look at, uh, Ultra Pro Eclipses aren't bad. Yep. Um, they don't last a long time. I wasn't a fan of them. Mine got super dirty real fast. Yeah, but if you like need sleeves for like a tournament, then they're pretty great. Yeah. Um, I personally use Dragon Show Matte Blacks or Dragon Show Matte Jets. Uh, I like black. I prefer. Yeah, I prefer black. I f to me they feel just a little bit better. I don't know why, but they do. Um, I'm not sure about the feel, but I know they look black. So I mean, I, like I mean, that. both of them look <laughs> black. Like the only difference between them is the black ones are just black. Personally, the... I just like. 
very like opaque yeah. colors that don't have anything happening on them. Yeah. <laughs> I just my, like if I if I'm wearing a shirt, it's gonna be just one color, nothing else on it. That's just my style. I just don't want to use checklist cards. That's me. Agreed. I hate using checklist cards. Yeah, it's such a pain. Except when I have like a deck box. <clears throat> And I need a divider between my sideboard and my main deck, and then I'll use checklist here. Oh, no, no, I still wouldn't do that. I can put those. I would middle. spend the two cents to buy, like, one of the dividers from a pre-release kit. One of those? Oh, gosh, no. Or just get, like, some other off-colored sleeves. One of my one of my dividers for, like, one of my decks, like, with deck cases, like, really fan. It's like a plastic mold of the swamp. Like, so, like, you know on every card where it has, like, the big swamp skull? Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a purple, plastic, purple and black plastic mold of that. His name is Bulky. Bulky? Yeah. The, the skull? Yeah. Actually? Seems big. One mana, uh, or two mana walking ballista, and then we duress you. I would have duressed first. I mean, yeah, it's just... I mean, it, it, it's, it doesn't gives you it information. that much, but yeah, always get info first. Like, don't write the essay without studying. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like the classic dragon shields anymore. They uh, no 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 no. Matt is the way to go. Don't yeah. don't buy the classics. No no good. No good. Yeah, they're like fine, but they don't last as long as they the, don't. The Matt the Matt ones are just like Matt sleeves are in general better. That's why I'm not a huge fan of these art sleeves too. They're not Matt except for the green ones. Mm -hmm. But so. This is actually a pretty good way for Alex to start, except does he not have the lands he needs? He He's has just been to disallow. That's a desert of the true. Comes in tapped. Unfortunately. Alright, so they have five minutes. Hopefully it'll pick up the pace of the game, but hopefully the search can help Alex get some untapped lands coming. Because yeah. we do need another blue for disallows and whatnot. Another duress. Alright. So these duress are actually going to hurt Alex quite a bit, I think. Yeah. He's gonna censor it? Please don't. Maybe he wants to cycle censor in response, but I don't really know what that does for you. Uh, your hand's it strong It gets him a land. Yeah. Is the, censor's actually just terrible now. I would cycle it in response. Censor I, would, I think cycle. if... Well, I don't think he's gonna take censor anyways, yeah, but if it's, it's Matt just takes censor, you're fine with that. So, that's fine. He should take the settle. That's, it looks like that's what he's gonna do here. Um, I'm not a fan of taking redundant cards, especially when it's one like Exalt Binding, which yeah. really just hits Phoenix, and then it's like, like well, your second Exalt Binding is like kind of bad now. Oh, found the untapped land. Nice. Well done. Uh, and uh, Faker, KMZ maps are fine. They're not amazing. They're not. I've great. heard like a lot of reviews recently that they've gone down in quality, but yeah, I would still just go Dragon Shield. Um, I think, like, value-wise, all the sleeves are, like, actually just about the same price. Um, I think, like, the price range, I know, like, the cheapest sleeves that I think are, like, fine quality are KMCs and BCWs, and the highest is Dragon Shield, but it's, like, a $2 difference. Yeah. $2 to $3 difference. I will say, though, um, and this is very important because it's going to save you a lot of time, and it's going to save you a lot of frustration. If you do purchase Dragon Shield mats, make sure you're also using the Dragon Shield inner sleeves. Yes. It so much easier to get the inner dragon shield inner sleeves in than the uh kmc like perfect fit yeah it's one of like the hardest things like if you use a kmc perfect fit and you try and get into this into a dragon shield sleeve for whatever reason you could do it it's i think it's really like hard a like millimeter of like size difference yeah but w for whatever reason it makes a big difference use dragon shield perfect yeah. fits i use those for all my sleeves now i use the smokes just because i like smokes. oh I, I can't stand those like dark backed sleeves i don't play any flip cards and even if i do play flip cards they're gonna be smoky flip cards. Yeah, like I don't get the point. Uh, <laughs> just play opaque sleeves. Um, but why not do both? I'm just I'm just someone who's like really cautious when it comes to, like if I'm going to a big event, I do not want to get like DQ'd. Yeah, DQ'd because for whatever reason the judge thinks he can see through my opaque sleeves. Nah, nah, that's not happening. I'm using opaque sleeves. Then you appeal to the judge. I, mean, be like the I don't know, judge. but dude, like, I mean, dude, I, I don't want to judge even questioning me. That's like, that's some scary stuff. Okay. If I'm at, if I'm playing an open, a judge walks up, he's like, hold up, pause the game, let me look at your deck. That is horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> like, I paid like fifty dollars to get into this event. Please don't. I do yeah, not so have a lot saying, of money. <laughs> basically, like, if you get deck checked. Yeah, I do not want to get deck checked either. I would be, ooh, that'd be scary. 
I mean, like, yeah, I like guarantee some... there's nothing wrong with my deck, but still, I could not stand yeah. that. <laughs> I've been there. Uh, at the first open I went to, um, I sat at a table, the people next to me got deck checked. Both players had problems with their decks. So we just went to both games got game lo both of them got game losses. Winner of game three gets it. Yes. Oh dear God. And I was just like, oh my God. And one, no, no sideboarding <laughs> players on Storm get wrecked. Yeah. So I was I was pretty spooked. But. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've never been deck checked before, and it's gonna stay like that. I refuse. I to get deck checked. <laughs> uh, I don't know if a you know lot. Tony Mason, but for four PPTQs in a row, he had deck checked. Yeah. I mean, it happens. Deck checks are part of tournaments. But four in a row. Maybe it was one maybe, deck check per PBDQ. May, maybe you're just not doing well enough at events for judges to care about you. That is true. <laughs> also, I stream a lot of the PBDQs just because I'm not good enough, right? I'm just like, eh. Yeah, this is... Well, no, the other problem is if I win a PBDQ, I'm not going to go to, like... Like, I don't, I can't drive. Like, I'm not going to be able to, like, go to a bigger event. And if I win that, if I go to the Pro Tour, it's just not going to happen. There's no point. So, if you play in PBDQ, you just... It's really just there for the cash value. Yeah, just if offer your opponent to say, hey, I don't want the invite. Well, like, yeah, honestly, if but you wanted the invite... And, and also, I'm not comfortable playing PBDQ in Standard. Eh, fair. So, yeah. I feel like Standard, I'm just... It's one of my lesser formats, but I'm way more comfortable with Modern and Limited. There have been times that I just gave my opponent literally both first and second prize, and I got the invite. I was perfectly happy with it. Yeah. Now it was like... Pack, so I didn't care if it was like store credit or oh, okay, cash. Yeah. I would have been so like here. Our a little store, more game swap. They have thirty seconds, so they're gonna be in yeah. Time. But our store is cash and or or no, not and or cash or store credit. But like I know a lot of other stores just do packs. It's really annoying, especially terrible. Uh, modern PPTQ, like, like paying on an hour of devastation packs. Exactly. Yeah, I don't want to win first place and then just get like thirty hour devastation packs. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I get a scarab god. I still didn't pay for my entry. <laughs> like. I need, I need to hit triple Scarab God to be satisfied, and even then, I yeah, made no. like 10 bucks. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like we're in turns right now. All right. Uh, I do uh, not foresee any can of Can we get them. the turns card out there? It's a lovely foil thing. I guess it's possible nice. Alex draws approach into approach. Right. Is he on turn one? Uh, yep. So he has some, he has some time. Uh, Alex, Alex can win this. this. Matt can't. That's my opinion on this. Uh, yeah. These games have been super close. Down to the wire. Both games. It was literally like, if you didn't win this turn, I win. Yeah. Alex also needs another untapped land to be able to cast a pro. Uh, he's going to draw right Which in. he has. He has the... He has the... Wait. Oh, wait, no, no. He has seven lands in play. Yeah. There's one hiding under the opening level. But if he draws the land, he can go off into it. Because off into it would be so good. That's... You see, just have the op. Oh, he can just opt now. Never mind. Yeah, they haven't been playing super tight. They haven't been playing super fast. I'm not. Yep, I and mean, that's fine. Yeah, sometimes draws. They happen. haven't been like slow playing though, so I don't really care. It is a blue white control deck against a red black. Control yeah, and deck. I don't like how Alex is approaching this right now. He went to like Aether meltdown that. Your opponent's not gonna kill you. Yeah. Um, you agreed. need like, and you actually have a chance to win. Do, so we already cast one approach. Yeah, nay, nay, right? No, not this game. Yeah, we haven't cast one this game. Uh, but if we do cast one, BC's we can also oh, no, no, activate his counter. Activate his counter. Yeah. Ah, no. He also tapped his mana wrong though. No, he's. Oh, you're right. So that's why he. Oh, so we opted instead of act activate his counter. I thought that does, oh, that's slight misplay because gated. we could go opt into casting our approach, but uh, so yeah, he does so. get turn five. So if he had an approach to cast this turn, I think he'd be fine. Because he can go if new river. He doesn't have enough mana. Step. Oh yeah, River is Activator is Kanta, but yeah, this is... Uh, Let me turn 5, there's no way he can win yo. here. We're gonna have a draw between Matt and Alex here. Really close games all in all, though. Yeah, um... Lots of small things that made big, big... Yes, timing, uh, counting... Effect. So, if you want to take anything away from this match, make sure when you're playing Approach, just play Magic General, that you count correctly. Count correctly, double count. And then triple count if you're... Like, I've been here. playing a lot of Storm recently. I literally just bought the deck about, like, when this match started. And it, just today, he's punted three times against me. I put it, like, once. I I, but I, I just made it sound worse. When you're playing, but, yeah. like, <laughs> any kind of, like, combo deck, because this blue-red approach deck is kind of like a combo control deck. I would completely agree. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, you want to make sure you count. You want to make sure you double count, triple count. Make sure that you are just going to kill your opponent. Yeah. Um, and also, know when you're supposed to time things. Know how yep. the abilities would work. Know, know how... Know what cards to cast, too. Yeah, like, know what cards you can cast. Know what cards what, you uh, can cast, what cards you should cast. Yeah. There's a and lot of things that do. in this deck. Um, everyone was like, oh, Matt misplayed when he played around Disallow. I don't think he did. Uh, I think I agree, the way yeah. his opponent played suggested there was a Disallow. Yep. And no matter if Chandra's at 7 or 8, uh, Alex can't kill it. Yeah. So... That was pretty good. Yeah. But that was time. That was going to be the last game. We should be right match. back. We should be right back, around. like, not even 10 minutes. Right, and we do have this wizard list. It's right here. Oh, yes, we do have Liz Wizard. We'll I talk about it next round yeah. since we're going to... Spoiler alert, I, th I don't agree with it. 